Well, if you've got a commode that's running, then it's one or two things. The one thing you can do is you can check the flapper, pull the lid off, push down on the flapper, see if it slows down. And if it doesn't slow down and the water doesn't keep filling up, then the next thing it is, it's your uh, seat inside this ball cock. And uh, these, are, these are pretty easy to replace. I like these because you just push down. Let me show you how I did that. What you do is you push down and turn. Some are easier than others. Oh boy. And then pull up on it. Oh boy. If I can get it to pull. There it is. Like I said, some are easier than others. Then it's got this seat. Hopefully you can see this. See, this came off of here, tilted up, and you have this seat on there. You see how much junk's in there? Well, all you do is just get you a new one. Don't try to, don't try to clean it off and reuse it, because normally that doesn't work. That looks like my bread, doesn't it? But to go back on, you just line up that needle, slide this on there, put this back on there where it goes. Oh boy, this is kind of hard. Push down, and then, whoops, line it up, push down, and turn it back, and that's it. That's the only moving part in there. If you do have to put a flush valve in there, or as we used to call them, ball cocks, if you do have to put one in there, they're really simple. You have to, to adjust it before you even get started. Oh, you pull that up. Pulled it up too far. You pull that up, and then you unscrew this to the height you want. You can adjust that as you're putting it in there. So I'll kind of give you an idea. So the new ones are a little bit different than this, but this is pretty much about the same. And you figure the water is going to come up about halfway on this. So that's how you can adjust it. What you want to do is keep it a little bit below. This thing here, the overflow tube. Once you get it close, then you can come back and adjust it with this metal adjustment rod here and what you do is you you've probably seen them before you push them together and then you slide it golly this thing's so difficult slide this up or down and then once this springs back apart well it's going to hold this in place but uh, what you want to do is put this in here Oops. Take the nut off, Lee. Okay, put this in there. Slide it in the hole. I guess I should have told you this. This rubber seat goes on the inside of the tank. I've seen some people put them on the bottom of the tank, and it works fine for a while, but then it starts leaking. But this goes on the inside. Slide it into that hole. Have it point the right way. Don't want to get it over here in the way of your trip lever or anything else that might be in your way. Then you want to go underneath and put your nut on there. And then as you're tightening that nut up, you do want to probably have to get a pair of pliers, maybe tighten it up a little bit, but you have to remember it's plastic. So you hold those pliers as close to the end where you're running that nut on there so you don't try to strip it out you hold it back too far you get too much pressure on that nut and break it because it does not take much you could hand tighten this and it won't leak we're just giving it that extra half a turn is what it really amounts to once we do get it hand tight 
All right, and then we get that in there. And then we run our water in here. Watch our flush valve, which I am going to fill this up full of water here in a minute. And then we'll adjust it once we get it where we want it. Watch the float. See where it gets as far as the uh, overflow tube because it should come up before. Well, you can see the old line down there. You see the line down there the, where it used to go. All right, now let's watch the. Okay, it is supposed to be shutting off right there. Then it should. So it's just a matter of adjusting that little metal tension rod on there. But in the meantime, what else we're going to do is we're going to lock down that plastic lock nut that holds this thing in place. You know, as you could turn it, it raises and as you turn this thing, it will raise and lower. So what we need to do is we need to push that lock nut down. Okay, it's down. And then every adjustment from now on is by the ball, the, the, I'm going to call it the ball cock. That's what we used to call it. And then as we Then as we pull the trip lever, then well I hope this helps. One thing I did forget to mention, the last thing you want to put on is this fill tube. Because if this is not on there, you won't get any water. You won't get any water in the bowl. You'll only get water in the tank itself. And nothing will be filling up the bowl. So this is this thing here is very important, and it just slides right on. You'll see a little spot right there where it slides on, and then it goes into your overflow tube.